Russia-Ukraine War, list of key events, day 953. As the war enters its 953rd day, these are the main developments. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky shakes hands with a service member during his visit to a position of Ukrainian troops, in the course of Russia-Ukraine conflict, in Sumy region, Ukraine. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky shakes hands with a service member during his visit to a position of Ukrainian forces in the Sumy region. Here is the situation on Saturday, October 5, 2024. Romania has recovered fragments of a Russian drone from a canal in the Danube Delta near the Ukrainian border, the defense ministry said. Romania shares a 650 kilometers, 400 mile border with Ukraine and has had Russian drone fragments stray into its territory repeatedly over the past year. Russia takes Vuladar, protecting supply line, Ukraine closes firepower gap. Russia has knocked out about 80% of critical infrastructure in the town of Pokrovsk, a key logistics hub in Ukraine's east, as Russian soldiers slowly advance. Serhii Dobryak, Pokrovsk's military administration head, said Russian forces were about 7 kilometers, 4 miles from the town. An employee at the Russian-controlled Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in southern Ukraine was killed in a car bomb attack near the city of Enerhodar. Ukrainian military intelligence published a video of his car exploding and in a statement called Andrei Karatki a war criminal and collaborator. Plant director Yuri Chernichuk described the attack as horrific and an inhumane act. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced that he has visited the northern Sumy region, from where Ukraine launched a major incursion into the neighboring Russian Kursk region. He said the incursion has greatly helped Kyiv to secure the latest military support packages from Western countries. Poland will start building the first elements of enhanced defense lines on its borders with Russia and Belarus by the end of 2024, Deputy Defense Minister Cezary Tomczyk said. Spurred by Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Warsaw laid out plans to beef up its northern and eastern borders with fortifications, surveillance, reconnaissance and anti-drone systems by the end of 2028. The Kremlin on Friday accused Ukrainian authorities of playing with fire, a day after Russian forces said they had intercepted a Ukrainian drone near the Kursk nuclear plant and some news outlets reported a fire had broken out several miles away. Ukrainian Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesman Georgi Taiki denied that his country had fired weapons at or near the plant. A Russian court has placed a Dutch national in detention for violence towards a police employee, a charge that carries up to 10 years in prison. Harry Johannes Van Werden will be detained for an initial period of two months, according to a statement by Moscow's city courts. Russia has sentenced a man from Crimea to 14 years in a penal colony on treason charges after it accused him of aiding the Ukrainian military. Russian media said the FSB security service had accused the suspect, a resident of Sevastopol, of assisting Kyiv's armed forces and preparing a terrorist attack. Moscow annexed the Crimean Peninsula from Ukraine in 2014. Source. Al Jazeera and news agencies.